Hi, I'm Michael King, and I'm here this year presenting again at Filex. And one of the sessions I'm presenting is my Spirals program. Spirals is a program that is focusing on mobility and flexibility. It came around because as a Pilates instructor, we were getting a little bit frustrated that people were coming to us with tight spines, tight shoulders, tight upper body. And we thought there must be a way of making people want to move and focus on mobility and progress so they can get better at Pilates. So the program is pre-choreographed, but the idea of the program is that you change it or adapt the program to the classes that you're teaching. And it's really adaptable. We have one of our instructors that does the program in Switzerland. She takes the whole choreography, the whole program, and does it sitting on a chair for older adults. So it's, it's meant to be changed. So what I'm going to do today is to show you two of the comp uh, routines. But as I'm showing you the routines, I'm going to show you how it can be varied. And not necessarily always to complicate things, because one of the benefits from the repetition of movement is that really that you have a chance to think about that movement. I find if there's too much choreography, it becomes about the choreography and not about what you're actually doing. So we like to keep things quite simple. So the first track in the spirals, always, is the preparation track. So today what I'm going to start with, and what I taught at Phylex this year, is we're going to start first of all lifting the arm up and bringing the arm back down. Here we're focusing on how you're standing and how that shoulder's moving. So the shoulder slides down to lift the arm up, and you're using the breath to focus on that movement. So breathing out to lift up, and then breathing in to come down. Now the base choreography is with the hands together pushing up, open the arms out, lift up into a, a balance, and then come back down. So this is what we call the base choreography. And many instructors just stay with their base choreography without actually even adding any variations. But what I do to add a variation is as you take the arms up, take it back into a lunge, lift up, push, and back down. Now, the depth of a lunge, you can start small, of course. Obviously, the bigger the lunge, the more challenging it becomes. Breathing out to go back, breathing in to come up, breathing out to push up, and breathing in to go down. Lengthening out. So that's the first part of the combination. The second part is a flex. Flex in the spine, lifting up, reaching out to the side, and then coming back. Flexing in, coming back up, reaching out to the side, and come back. So of course, progression of that would be, rather than putting the hand on the thigh, taking the arm over. And like all the movements, another way of progressing is to take the movement larger. We can also add a flex forward as you reach out. So stretching over, flex, and then come back. Reaching out, reach over, flex, and come back. And those two combinations repeat four times in the preparation track. Of course, we have a little bridge section where we bring the arm in, because it's always good just to bring back in to remind people about how they're standing. Posture is everything. You know, getting the people, getting your students in the right position, getting the bodies working correctly, is gonna start making those muscles work correctly. First track, always preparation. The second track is the spirals track. And this is where the name came from. People say, why do you call your program Spirals? We looked at all the different methods of stretching. Obviously, when people think of stretching, they just think of laying down and pulling one leg up towards them and holding a static stretch. But obviously, we now know with kinetic chain stretching, dynamic stretching, p &S stretching if you've got a personal trainer, there's many different ways we can take the stretch. So what we do here is this focusing on shoulder mobility is using a technique of spiraling the shoulders. So we start with one arm, reaching the arm down, lifting the arm up. So you're rotating in. So I say thumb down, thumb up, or little finger up, and thumb up. So you're trying to get as much rotation with that shoulder as possible. Then reversing that, lifting up, rotating over. And of course, you can add rotation of the torso to bring more movement to the torso rather than just be for the scapula. So that repeats four times down and up, four times up and down. Then we had a little leg balance. We take the leg to the side, two times lifting out, reaching out, and then coming back. Two times to the other side. Lengthening out. Now this is where I always like to remind the students to lengthen your leg away from you. Because often when people lift the leg up, they pull that leg in. So shorten that hip flexor and that so as really fires up. So as you're reaching out, the leg lengthens away and coming back. Two times on each side. Now progression of this, as you're doing the movement, is you can lift the leg to the side. As you come back down, cross the leg in front. Lift back up to the side 
and then come back down. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out. So you get a nice stretch through the hamstrings, as you guys in Australia call it, the hammies. Lifting up, reaching out, taking it down, lifting up. Now that movement can also go behind, reaching out, cross behind. So a little bit more hip flexor based, and then down. Breathing in, breathing out, lifting up, and breathing out. The third part of this combination is a roll down. So we roll down to the floor, roll back up, circle the arms up, and open out. Again, rolling down, coming back up, and circling four times. We try and keep the things as simple with the numbers. Four times is obviously an easier thing to remember, but sometimes, depending on the music you're using, and depending on the, the count of that music, sometimes things have to go in threes. Music is everything, and it always has been. You know, from the days of steps, aerobic, music motivates people. And with this program, it's no, it's no different. I spend so many hours looking for the right music, and I try and bring a selection of music in that appeals to many people. I always make a rule that at least two tracks in every Spirals program, everyone knows. So we've kind of got the George Michael, the Madonna, those are really familiar, the Enya. The two tracks everyone knows. But then we like to have flavors, some Latin flavor, I think even on Spirals 5, we have reggae, some Indian music. I think it's important that you know, people get motivated by that music. And of course, people always have favorites. Many times my students say to me, oh, I prefer Spirals 2 rather than Spirals 3. Well, of course, it's personal. Music it is personal, but it definitely helps the movement. Always, always think of the movement as being flowing and continuous. Often in classes, when you say to your class, lift your arm up, what the class see is the arm up. They don't see the journey of the movement. And so much about this program is that journey, is that you're thinking about the shoulder dropping down. You're reaching away and using all the music to get the quality of what we're trying to achieve. I hope you enjoy Spiral's program. If you're, you can see more of it on uh, the website, spiralstheclassic.com. But it's one of the programs that I find that really helps me personally with mobility, but also the students. They come and do a spirals class two, three times a week, and it helps in all the other programs. Thank you.